Hello and welcome back to TGTV and more specifically welcome back to a pre-introduction introduction. You'll get used to these aren't you? Today's video is opening with an app that I've been using a hell of a lot recently. I've been on there months. It's called 21 Buttons. This is in response to loads of you guys, not that many girls, asking me where I get my clothing from, where to buy it, how to get it and blah, 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 all the rest of it. I get loads and loads of DMs, loads of comments asking all of this and this app is very, very useful. A lot of you will know about the app already. A lot of you already follow me on there. I think there's thousands of you already follow me on there. Um, but essentially what it does is it shows you where each individual item of clothing you can buy it from and it takes you straight through to the retailer's website. I'm sure there'll be some sort of a screen recording on the screen right now. It's very, very useful. And if you go on there and you have your own profile and you tag your outfits and people buy stuff through those links, tagging on the screen, you can make money. So it's not just influencers or whatever you want to call it, you can make money on there as well. So it's actually a very, very good app. It's very nicely laid out. Go and check it out. It's obviously free. It's in the app store. Go and um, click on it and do whatever with the links. And make sure you also follow me because I upload daily on there. Everything I post on Instagram goes across onto there. And there's also some exclusive content that's on there and not on my Instagram. So go check it out. Check it out. Anyway, should we get on with the video? Should we go and collect a rather brash Lamborghini? Let's go. Hello, welcome back to TGTV, and more specifically, welcome back to a petrol station, and not any old petrol station, a Wild Bean Cafe, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't know about Wild Bean Cafes, go and look on, where is he? Archie's channel. Uh, he will explain to you exactly the significance of the Wild Bean Cafe. Croissants are chaos, he's just saying in the background. Anyway, today is a very exciting day, because today we are off to collect your Lamborghini, are we not? We are, it's been absent for a while, people thought I sold it. You've been uh, busy modifying your Lamborghini uh, with some 1016 Industries parts. More on that another time anyway. We're, we're just outside Basel, and, I, and I've also rewrapped it, because that's what I do. Yeah, you've wrapped it again. No, 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 I've, I haven't wrapped this one before yet. I've not ruined this you one yet, but I'll probably get yeah, no, that. Lamborghini, no. you have wrapped it. Yeah, this one. Yeah, you've wrapped it chrome, but you've wrapped it again now. Oh yeah, it's got that one. <laughs> <But you don't... laughs> I forgot about the chrome. I honestly, I forgot. I'm very busy guy. Yeah, you are. You've got a lot on. Okay, bear with us and we'll be back in a bit. I'm just going to advise you. You have small, you have medium, and you have large. I go for the medium. They are mayhem. If you go for large, you will be shaking your head off. For Cheers for the advice, mate. Anything else? No, that's it. Cheers. Ah, uh, uh, yes, please. We need the bag, please. Uh, this isn't in the video, is it? They're chaos. They are mayhem. <laughs> right, pit stop completed. It's time to get back in the Golf GTI. I love this car, don't I? So I've parked up my beloved Golf here at Dub Customs. I've got some crisps and I'm now going to go in and find out what on earth Archie has done to his car because at this point he's been known for doing some pretty aggressive wraps and modifications to his cars but at this point I don't know whether he's actually finally gone and completely ruined a car because every time he's done something I thought yeah I kind of get it but this time I think he's taken it too far so just going to go into Dub now. Here we go. You'll all be very, very familiar with uh, Dark Customs here. Let's walk through. Archie is actually already in here. I don't know what's happened to the camera there. Oh no, we're back, we're back. Very familiar scenes in here. But I'm gonna cut it right now, and then we're gonna go to the reveal and show you exactly what Mr. Hamilton has done to his Lamborghini. Look at it. It's carnage. 
Wow. You must be buzzing with that, Archie. You actually, it's actually, you actually don't mind that, lad. I actually really like it. I hate modifying cars, but that looks so good. So here we have it then, Mr. Hamilton's new look Hurricane with 1016 Industries body parts and a very, very, very nice Dub Custom Satin Chrome Purple. Is that right? Yeah. What's the company? Hex? Hexis. Hexis wrap on there. Absolutely unbelievable. And I'm sure you agree, it does look good. And this is not usually my thing. I don't usually like stuff like this, but I really like it. Do you like it, lad? Are you happy? Yeah, really happy. It I've looks there, so good. It's been a bit of a uh, wet met work in the process in the making. What are you on about? Because obviously, obviously I had to get all the parts over and then the, choose the wrap colour. The car was sat here for what, like two weeks with no colour decided. And then in the end, a few people said in the comments like purple and I was like, purple chrome will go down like a sack of, you know what? Turd. Yep. But satin purple chrome is sick. Talk me through then what you've done here. Lad, lad. Okay, so we've done, um, so obviously 1016 front splitter. Yeah. It's a massive, massive difference. They literally have sorted me out so much. There's also there. something else on the front there, isn't there, lad? This carbon bonnet. This is like the first car, this is the first new car in the country to have the full kit. Um, wow. Obviously, you can see the finish, what Dub have done. It's like, like they nailed it. Their work is second to none, honestly, every single time. Um, in three days. The material arrived three days ago. Oh, look at it, look at the finish. I don't know if that's picking up in the camera properly. The, the finish on the wrap and the carbon all kind of coming together. And then you've got three colors here, haven't you? You've yeah. gone black, purple, and then orange. So the orange calibers here tie in with the orange interior. I'm sure you've already seen shots of that, but it just works very, very well. Well done, you've actually done something well Stop for us. Stock wheels as well, lad. Like Stock like wheels as well. So you let me know in the comments. Thing, when yeah, the go on. wheels are on, you lost that, and I thought, oh, that's the best bit about owning a Hurricane. This is a thumbnail right now, what oh, you're doing yes. right now. That's the you thumbnail. Think, yeah. If you own a Lamborghini, you want that as many places as you can get it. Yeah, yeah, you want the OEM look. I don't like the whole kind of aftermarket wheels rubbish. I don't think it looks no, very good. Enjoy. Get rid of it. Um, oh, yeah, obviously we've got a massive carbon side skirt here. Yep. Um, so that's cool. The wing was on there before. The wing was on there before. But around the back, there's a very the big, big difference. The biggest difference on the back is that this is like the, the fuser took two days or something to fit on its own wow just because of just how it is such a big job um, and what I like about it as well is the fact how it all comes off so for warranty for resale everything it's totally reversible it's totally reversible that's extremely important I've, I've done it before where I've ruined the car yeah and <laughs> like many times and it, it is such a nightmare to get it back but that it's not ruined that's actually not ruined. There was potential, and Doesn't you were worried. Good. I'm pleased for you. Um, and over the roof as well, very nicely done. Dub actually just took it on themselves to do this in gloss black over the top. Yeah, so that goes what, the whole way what, through. One of the massive things when you come to Dub Customs is that you give, you just give them a vinyl and they do it, and they decide little things like the mirrors and the roof and things like that. And then you they know what looks good. They know what looks good. I don't know what looks good, really. No, we know that. Um, but we were in agreement together with the colour. Do you know the colour color which was closest, if it wasn't that? What was second choice? Red. And no. that would have the interior. Red would have been awful. Yeah. Red, it, the red would have been actually what I would have expected from you. I would have expected you to do something terrible. Or it's going to be satin black, but we like to cause chaos. That is definitely, definitely chaos. Anyway, that is that. The main video about this car, more details about it is on RG's channel. He's done a much better job of filming this event than me. I just thought I'd come along and uh, film a vlog anyway. Everything's a video, as you know. So anyway, make sure if you haven't already, you subscribe to Archie's channel, although you probably are subscribed to him already, or maybe you hate him. But anyway, get over there. You probably hate me, not you. <laughs> I'm hated on his channel. He's hated on mine. What a world we live in. Paint. We need some more spray paint. Let's go do some pranks. <laughs> la 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 la. No, we Thank will, we will cause chaos in this in London. We're gonna yeah, cause gonna trouble. My SV and that.
next to each other, and then the SVR and the G Wagon next to each other. We'll do it's, a group photo and then, and then we'll do like a meetup. Shall I get welcome. all five of my cars out? Oh yeah, get all five and then. Uh, Anyway, that was a very, very long-winded rubbish. Oh, check out Dub Customs, check out 1016, all that. They so the, the, the guys at Dub Customs here, if you want any modifications done to your car, be it window tinting, sort of uh, pinstriping, detailing, stuff that I've done before, um, and actually on the detailing note, actual detailing uh, with F1 Wax, they all do that in-house here. I've used their services many, many times, and I have never, ever been disappointed. RG uses them non-stop, they are great guys, so make sure you drop them a follow, drop them a DM, all details will be below, and also 1016 Industries that did Archie's car, if you want any carbon aftermarket bits, then do give them a shout as well, because they are top-notch, top-notch guys. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, do subscribe, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye! As a bonus piece of footage for those of you that are stuck to the end of the video and are still watching, I, I'm now going to do what's called the Dub Dash, is it the Dub Dash? It's basically a little uh, running race at the back of Dub Customs here. There is a leaderboard and I'm going to do a little dash basically, a timed run up and down there. It's going to make sense in a second and I'm going to make a complete arse of myself. So let's see how this goes. Where am I starting? On this bit, on this bit. Don't forget to stretch, lad. Dan, it's this one, isn't it? Yeah, that one, yeah. Always going for the old... Uh... Yeah, mate, set. Bolt. <laughs> set, go. Archie's now having a go. He's been explaining the rules. It might take a few attempts. Woo! He wasn't interested, and then he heard there was a leaderboard. And the worst headache ever. No, mate. I don't want to. I don't care about excuses. So I go there, I touch that, and I come back. That's it, mate. Oh, that's it. That's it, mate. Come on. It's quick. Come on, boy. Come on. That headache. <laughs>